Hello guys, welcome back to my Halloween Horror Series here on Beyond the Realms. And you know guys, this Halloween I wanted to try to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to try to go back and watch some films that I hadn't watched in a long time. And you know, as I was looking through my collection, this one really stood out to me as a film that I haven't watched in probably five years. And it's only been out for six, so it's been a very long time since I've watched this. And it is Lucky McKee's second film, The Woods. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Lucky McKee, he got uh, pretty well known with his first film uh, called May. And, um, you know, so there was a lot of high expectations on him going into this film. And it was delayed coming out for a long time because something about the studio was bought out. And, um, you know, so it sat on the shelf for a while, and it finally came out. It got a very limited release, the actual release, and I didn't see it until it came out on DVD. Um, now, this film, it, it wasn't reviewed very well. There was, you know, seems like a lot of people didn't like this, but I think that this is a film that deserves a second look. Um, you know, like I said, it'd been a good five years at least since I watched this. It's been a long time. Um, but we sat down and watched it tonight, and guys, I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised by it. There's a lot of atmosphere in this film. I mean, it's flawed. I mean, there's no question about that, and I'll get into some of that later. But there is definitely a lot of good atmosphere in this, and I think it's a really good film to check out during the Halloween season. Um, so, what this tells is it's a story about a girl named Heather, which is played by uh, Agnes... Agnes Bruckner, that's her name, I believe, this girl right here. Um, and she's a py she's a pyromaniac. She's setting fires and stuff. She's causing a lot of problems. So her parents, um, one of which her dad is Bruce Campbell in this film, they decide to put her in a very prestigious boarding school called uh, Fallburn Academy. Um, it's, a, out, it's located way out in the woods. It's a secluded place. But it's very prestigious, and her parents feel that, you know, if they send her here, maybe this will help her out. Well, um, Agnes arrives at this place and right away realizes, you know, things are kind of weird. You know, her, her uh, the, um, what do they call it, the, mis uh, the head mistress, Miss Traverse, played by Patricia Clarkson, which is this woman right here. Um, just very odd, and even the women that work for her are very odd. They come off as very cold. Um, just not very personable whatsoever and you know she quickly um, becomes un, uh, unassuming friends with this woman named Marcy, she, this girl named Marcy, she sits down at her table and Marcy's being picked on by this girl named Samantha and all of her friends so you know um, Heather just kind of, I mean she just becomes friends with her right there and uh, you know because she stands up for her and um, you know, but things really start getting weird because some of the girls in the school come up missing and, um, you know, they're told to stay away from the woods, you know, don't go in the woods. And for some reason, Miss Traverse and all the other women that work there, they really want these girls to drink their milk. I mean, more than just, you know, for a milk does a body good type thing. I mean, they're like obsessive with having these girls drink their milk. <laughs> And, um, you know, Heather is just really bothered by all this stuff. And in the meantime, she's also, um, I, I don't know how you would put it, she's attuned to, uh, like, the supernatural or, you know, she's gifted. She can hear voices. She can see things like premonitions. She has dreams of things that have happened, things that are going to happen. So, you know, she's a gifted woman. And Miss Traverse really picks up on this stuff and, you know, really, you know, Take kind of like you know asking her she pulls her into a room and is asking her you know like how she uh, came about you know finding out about this school and really asking all these kind of weird questions too and you know you can tell she's really focusing on Heather like really wondering about her um, but you know things just continue to get weird a couple more girls go missing from the school and you know I'll, I'll pretty much just leave the story there because you really can't say much more past that without spoiling things, and I don't like doing that. But, um, guys, this is a film that, like I said, it deserves a second look because there are issues with it, and I think 
one of the biggest issues with it is the writing. I mean, the story is just... I mean, you really don't know where it's going as it's, you know, stuff's happening. But, um... As it gets further along into it, it really takes an odd and weird twist. Um, I really don't know how to describe it. It just, you know, it's it's kind of a slow burn, atmospheric type film. And then towards the end, it just starts getting pretty bizarre and pretty out there. And um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just, it's not written really well. And, you know, for a film like this that doesn't have, you know, much... Really, uh, no, really no gore at all until closer towards the end. There's a few scenes, but it's just more of an atmospheric build-up type film. The payoff I thought could have been a little bit better than what it was. It's just not excellent, you know. Like you, like the way everything's building, you expect it to really. You're hoping, I guess, that it would have an excellent payoff, and it really doesn't. So I think that's why the film has kind of suffered over the years, and too many people don't really talk about it. Uh, it's got an underwhelming cover. I just this cover is horrible. That's why I say don't judge a movie by its cover, just like a book, <laughs> because uh, this movie is more than meets the eye. Still, I mean, even with the problems, um, but it just it really does have a good atmosphere, though, guys. I mean, it can't it can't compare to Suspiria, which you know the film is compared to. Uh, um, but it, it still is worthwhile to watch, and I think you know. I think if a lot of people just went back and gave this another chance, it would get more of a following. You know, I think also a big problem with it um, that, that hampered the film is people's expectations were so high for it after May, because that movie did get a really big buzz, um, and people were just expecting this to just really come out and blow them away and it really wasn't that way at all and I really don't think people expected this to be a slower burn film or you know more atmospheric than anything else um, but guys I, I really enjoyed it um, even more so this time I think that you know just the, what the setting of the film is really good um, you know when it gets nighttime there's this fog that rolls in and stuff like that it's just it, it's cool I really like it I really dig the atmosphere um, you know, there, there's some, some bad CG moments in it, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's for the time, it's it, in this time, I guess, you know, 2006, and it's low budget, so, I mean, it, it hasn't aged well, and it shows, it's not good CG, and, um, but, uh, what else can I say about it, uh, Bruce Campbell, he's good in it, he's not, you know, he's listed right here on the front, like he's a, a main star, and really he's not. He's probably only in the film 10, maybe 15 minutes. He's in it at the beginning, and then he's in it towards the end. And they definitely play off of the Evil Dead with him and kind of the Ash character. He's more comedic. He's more kind of like a smart ass. Um, he's basically like taking Ash almost and putting him into this film. But he elevates the, his scenes that he's in. Like I think all the scenes he, are, he is in is really good. Um, I, I, I like the character in the film, and um, you know he, he's good as Heather's dad. Um, Patricia uh, Clarkson, she, she's pretty good too. Like I said, just really cold type character, but she plays it very well. Um, and all the directing is good, like it's really directed well. Lucky McKee has a good eye for things and it really shows in this. All the editing is great, the, uh, um, the soundtrack's awesome. I think it's really fitting, um, it really helps set the mood and, it, and it's just perfect for the, for the woods type atmosphere of this, or uh, the setting and all that stuff. Cinematography's great. But like I said, guys, if the writing was a little bit better, I think that this film would be a lot more highly regarded than what it is. Because I think it's just still a shame, though, that really nobody talks about this film. I mean, you hear Lucky McKee, you hear of May, and you hear of The Woman. Which, you know, okay, yeah, they're great films, but, you know, I just think that this is an underrated film, actually. And this is a, it's kind of become a lost film in a way, because just, I mean, nobody talks about this. So, yeah, guys, if you're looking for just um, a simple film that you can just kind of put on, relax to, or just kind of chill back, if you want to watch something that 
you know, you haven't watched it Halloween before, haven't given a shot, check this out, you know. Let me know what you think about it. And if you have seen this film before, what do you think? Um, I'd really like to know. Leave a comment below. Um, tell me your thoughts on this, your likes and dislikes, or if you even remember it, because <laughs> I'm sure there might be some people out there like me that, you know, just had uh, had it and left it in their collection, haven't watched it for years. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I, and, and as for a rating, I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I think that's a pretty fair rating. Um, a little above average, but not great. So, but definitely worth a look. So yeah, guys, um, y'all take care. Have a good one. Later.